This is Etienne and Elaine. Like me, they love street photography. We're going to go on a photo walk today, explore a quieter part of the city, and talk a bit about this shared passion of ours. Nothing too fancy, just a few street photographers hanging out and making photos. Hi everyone, I'm Elaine. Um, I'm a local here. I work as a marketer and in my free time I love to walk around Hong Kong and just go shooting a bit. And my camera is the Chiao 3. Nothing as fancy as hers, but uh, <laughs> it's still cool. It's a very compact camera and basically you can just do a single hand shot, whatever you want. You, you know, should have told me because then I would follow the GR theme. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah, uh, gang. Yeah, yeah. The GR gang. It's just yeah, that I haven't yeah. used a rangefinder for quite a long time, so I just feel like. Yeah, she misses it. Getting a fancy yeah. one Woo! for a special photo walk. Yeah, that's for you. Yeah. Cool. Um, my name's Etienne. Um, people call me ET as well. Um, I used to live in the UK, but I came back to Hong Kong, I think, 2017. Um, and yeah, I work as a DOP, but in my own time, I love doing street photography stuff. So, Hi. yeah, so this is my gear of the day. Um, and 240 and um, this is a Japanese lens it's a 28 f 3.5 because I like white lenses <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to buy a bag. 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 I'm going to bu
。唔係有陣時，我覺得用廿八佢嗰個 view finder， 就算你擺咗個 external 咧，都唔係好，即係你都唔係好睇到究竟個 coverage 係幾多。係啊，即係可能我對焦呢度，我以為中間啦，但係點知係去咗側邊。係啊，真係。咁Because um, so basically, my family uh, uh, and I were moving out, and as I was packing up, I found my dad's uh, old Minota camera in the bathroom with like wrapped with like a Sogo plastic bag. In the bathroom. Such a random encounter. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I found it, and it was still working. Uh, and um, he said to me, "Yeah, I, I use that to take a lot of pictures of your mom when we were young, like doing housework and all these candid moments that I really like." So I think that's sort of one of the reasons um, how it attracted me to become a street photographer. And I don't know, like there are lots of little stories in the street that we're not quite aware of. And I think perhaps um, it's also like my way of researching, uh, coming from a film filmmaking background. We're always researching from the real world uh, scenario. So um, I think um, both are kind of related in a way. Why do I love street photography? Um, I think it's a challenge um, that kind of gets, gets you because you kind of have to make a quick decision, but at the same time, you need to be very patient. Like your quick reaction time of your finger and brain. <laughs> It's a huge challenge. Um, you're waiting for the moment that you feel like it's comfortable or maybe you think it's the most beautiful, I mean, in your own terms. Also chasing natural light, it's not as easy as people thought they would be, like compared to, you know, studio lighting um, when everything is set. I'm not saying studio lighting, it's, it's not professional. I just kind of love street photography in a sense. You also have like people against street photography. True, true. That it's like invading people's privacy and stuff. But I feel like if no one has ever done anything like street photography then and now, then we would be able, able to, to see, see what it's like in the yeah. past, right? Yeah. Like we don't want to see stage. Photography. We just want to see like raw human stories. I mean, and all these bits and bobs that gives us an idea of what people used to do back in the day. Yeah, um, I I appreciate stage photography as well because I think people always draw comparisons between them, but I don't think it's it's a comparison at all because it's not an apple to apple. It's it's just a different form of of art or medium because yeah. one is more like daily life, less official, more spontaneous. And you know, for stage photography, you, you have a little bit more time to prepare, and it's a different challenge. And I don't think there should be any argument in between them. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I just like going with the flow and shoot. Because I mean, at work, it's already quite stressful enough with yeah. all the pre-productions. Like, everything has to be fun. well planned. Yeah. So in my yeah, I just want to do without thinking too much True. when I'm with my camera.
hurry up here. Your poor guy is still here. Because he's on the side. Then he's going to go to the road. He's going to go to the road. Oh, this is the road. It's a road in the road. It's a road in the road. It's a road in the road. 我唔係影 M B 喎，即係佢喺度坐緊，即係咁樣住嘢啲啊！坐飛個個都啱食啊！一家大細都啱食啊！食下，我食過咯。你有冇食過啊？我有啊，細個嘅時候。好㗎，對眼好㗎。你嗱小朋友俾佢食咧，對佢嗰個眼啊，對佢嗰個。啱啊！我媽唔知咩有擺完之後磨粉，跟住。哦，原來你哋係冇啦，冇影啦，冇影。冇影哦。係啊，冇影啊，冇影。我哋唔係記者嚟嘅。我驚你記者嚟啊！我哋係我哋自己影嘅咋。邊度？邊度？冇嘢做。好啊好啊，唔緊要係啊。好。因為有啲咧，我哋係見記者嚟影。我唔係啊。玩嘅啦，我哋。打一打，你哋。走人咪啦。唔阻你啦。好唔阻。拜拜。多謝嚇，好好。試下啦，試下係咪？咁樣可以做記者。好，我咁樣樣都做記者。偷錢？我係影低佢錢。咦？偷錢？邊個？同你會收嘅。捉到未啊？捉到。捉到咩？真係。通常都唔理喎。啊！佢嘅佢捉到佢，佢叫我住喺度，佢嚟呢度賴死添啊！我嗰日見到你嘅邊都有啊，但係唔係佢咯。啊！佢係瞓喺呢度先啊！佢佢偷咗你幾錢啊？一手入嚟呢度偷啊，偷好多錢。哦，真係。咁你唔好擺嗰度啦，又。有時呢度找錢方便。哦。咁啊，佢啊，佢嚟拉死啊！可以飲喎。嗰次喺度，喺度瞓喺門口呢度啊。喺度。係啊。睇下咪塞喺度睇咯。有時會 prefer 廿八嘅 frame 多過廿一，廿一位其實幾爽，幾想嘅係。整翻整下。魚啊！魚啊！係魚啊！冇幾想啊，個魚啊！好細。係啊。係啊。係啊。As a woman or a lady, do you have an advantage uh, when checking street photography? <laughs> it is difficult, unless I'm Kim Kardashian. 
<laughs> no, I totally agree. Maybe. For some reason, like, dudes or any, anyone else are nicer to, 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 to girls in camera for some reason. Um, I guess women, I don't know, they got a softer side, maybe? I don't know, the softer side, less, you know, it, it sounds less aggressive at a point when you're approaching people and asking them friendlier. And uh, I think one of the reasons why people are so against street photography, it's, it's the unknown. Basically, they don't know what you're doing. But I think once you're trying to approach them and explain to them what you're actually doing, then, then they're they a little understand. bit friendlier. I think gender may help a little bit. I'm not sure. No, I got unlucky once. It was, <laughs> it was a girl, girl on girl situation. Uh, he said he would call the cops and I said, yeah, there's so many down the road. <laughs> But then I, I didn't delete the photo in the end because it was badly, it was underexposed anyway. <laughs> you couldn't see shit and she was like, oh, nah, delete it. I don't she like the way. She probably think you're a, you're a lousy photographer then. <laughs> yeah, she's, she, yeah, probably lousy. No, but she's awesome. No, I'm just kidding. No, yeah. I, I'm just lucky most of the time. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah. But I think it's good to sort of have a conversation with the like, people and just let them understand. It's like a form of art yeah. in a way. So don't be intimidated by street photographers. I mean, if they because are... they were not informed yeah. to get the pictures taken. I mean, even um, in Hong Kong, it takes a little bit of time for people yeah. to understand what is street photography. Because I guess in the past few years, something strange happened in Hong Kong. Uh, the vibe is that they always thought that you are from the press. Right. They don't really understand what's, what's going on, but... Um, I think like once stalking, you, like yeah, like stalking stuff. But yeah. once you try to talk to them, they explain to them, like, like just a while ago today. Um, I think they were kind of welcome it. Yeah. I mean, for me, because I used to hate being on camera. <laughs> so are you now? <laughs> not really. I don't know why. But um, when I say, I don't know if you had that before, but like I've, I've come across some street photographers taking mm. pictures of me, and yeah. I, I was aware of it because I am yeah, one yeah, myself. Yeah. I could see him doing that sneaky little thing, you know, yeah. and I gave him this because <laughs> yeah, I, I could understand what he was doing and it was fine for me and I was yeah. like, oh nice, you're a street photographer as well, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess um, different culture and in perceived street photography differently, they react differently. Um, I think when you're in there, you try to understand the vibe as well. If you feel like it's oh they're too a little bit too aggressive then then, then you don't shoot them oh, for for your own safety like that's you know. true yeah yeah I oh. mean it doesn't world like a photo like that and then you you give up your life I mean some of them will but I mean it depends it's raining heavily right now <laughs> yeah. so it's quite sexy rain I guess yeah. <laughs> it's not worth getting stabbed or punched for just one snap yeah true. so play play smart as well as a street photographer I think. Yeah. yeah, especially for ladies when they're uh, on their own. And you yeah. probably watch enough iPhone videos already. You should know how to protect yourself as well. Yeah, protect your camera. Oh, we have to go. Woo. Okay, whoa. We have to oh, wrap Lord. this up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going That's all we got for today. If you enjoyed the vlog, don't forget to like, comment, and share it with your friends. Also, go show Etienne and Elaine some love. The work is amazing. You have to check it out. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Later.
，机<笑>场，不咬人，烟雨啊，好靓，好靓，好靓啊！